Alright, here's the deal guys, when I meet someone new and they ask, So, what do you do? What am I supposed to respond with? Um, I make videos in my room and then I post them on the internet. The only thing worse than that would be saying that you're a TikToker. But, I want to be able to say something cool, so I've decided to become a musician. So, what do you do? Oh, I'm a musician. It just sounds so badass. Only problem is, I don't have any instruments, and that's the only thing stopping me. Not music ability, not skill, not creativity, just my lack of instruments. So, let's build some shit and prove to the world that Trent Black is the next Kanye West. So here's what I want to build. It's called a MIDI keyboard and the point of it is that you connect it to a digital audio workstation and it sends MIDI signals which are then recorded by your computer. The great thing about this is that you can hook it up to your computer and set it to any instrument you want. As long as you know how to play the correct keys, you can make it sound like a piano or a flute or even a violin. With this one device alone, you could essentially make any song in the world. An Arduino Uno R3 board. Alright, so as I'm trying to fix this one, the other side literally also falls off. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. I actually just bought a haircutting razor. I hate when I have a sponsorship and then the brand flakes. Oops, all nut. We're going to be making beats out of cereal boxes then. For obvious reasons, I need to use Fruity Loops. Too much you could do with that. Alright, so obviously, this isn't just some random keyboard, it needs to send actual MIDI signals. Now, I can install a MIDI hex firmware on this board, I have to first short these two pins. Now, if I know anything about electronics, which I don't, I'm like 30% sure that I'm about to break this board. <laughs> Alright, the pins have been shorted, the board still works, and surprisingly, my fingers are still intact. So now you just open up the terminal and install the new hex firmware on it. Alright guys, moment of truth, let's fire her up. What if it doesn't even work and I'm just editing the sounds in afterwards? No, I'm just kidding, it works. Alright guys, slight uh, misunderstanding. Apparently it takes more than just a MIDI keyboard to make good music. Don't know any music theory. I've never played an instrument. Well, actually, I did try to learn clarinet in sixth grade, but then my band teacher told me that I was as bad as my sister, so obviously I quit. But my superpower is I can become really mediocre at a new skill pretty fast, so. Okay, so these things called sheet music just tell me which buttons I need to press, which means playing piano is just a glorified version of typing or copying notes from the board onto your laptop, right? I mean, you literally just type what you read. Okay, so the reason that sounded a little bit off is because this is 12 keys, but fortunately that's pretty easy to fix with uh, some digital software. You would just shift it all down one. You could also use it to record some drums.
Is it too early to start expecting a Grammy in the mail? Honestly, I gotta let the world hear this. No, but like, like I was, that, but, but I mean, like everyone knows "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star." Yeah. So, so generally, uh, yeah. So, so generally, when you when you make a beat, you want the notes, like in this case, the piano, to kind of line up with the beats. You know what I'm saying? Especially for something like "Twinkle Twinkle Little Star." It kind of sounds like you got a grandparent's Yamaha keyboard and then hit the hip hop button and then played a blue face verse over it. And this video is sponsored by me, Trend Black. I made a Patreon. Now wait, before you click away, just hear me out. Why should you follow me on Patreon? A few reasons. First, I'm a lot more willing to be personal on there or talk about my dramatic situations or whatever. So if you want like the inside scoop on what's happening, check out my Patreon. But secondly, and I think this is the main reason, it's because I'm gonna reinvest all the money that I make on my Patreon back into these projects. So if you guys want to see these projects just get crazier and cooler, then consider following me on Patreon because I'm going to reinvest that money. And the third reason is the videos that I'm posting on YouTube, they don't really go in detail of how I'm making them. They're more like for entertainment. So if you're actually curious on the ins and outs and the code files and exactly a step-by-step -step instruction on how I made what I made so maybe you can make it at home, then I'm going to be posting that every single time I post a video on YouTube. I'm going to post a tutorial of it on my Patreon. Alright, that's enough internet begging. Bye-bye.